Uh, hi everyone. So in the previous video, we defined the entities and we did npm run db sync. So it, it now has created these three tables for us like post, user and uh, the technology. Right, everything looks fine, looks clean and finally it has also created some constraint, right? The, the primary key for key constraint and if we see the database and if we see the visualization, then this is how it looked like. Okay, so technology parent ID. Okay, this is about parent ID has a relationship with the ID not deleted. And this marker is showing wrong. But yeah, this post post has a user ID as a foreign key and the technology ID as a foreign key, and then there is a user. So this arrow is something which is showing wrong, but yeah, everything looks correct. So in the technology we have uh and for relationship like parent ID is pointing to the ID of the technology only and this is our post so now the post will grow more like uh, here we will also have a post type as a as a foreign key and the post will have the primary key because there will be a different kind of post uh, um, uh, blog post uh, youtube video udemy course uh, the plural site course all these different type of courses we can have right so we can actually create one entity post type One post type dot ts let's quickly finish this so here post type and it will also have the same set of relationship like we have with user and a post so user id was the foreign key so we can just copy this user and you we'll just paste it in the post type so here we will have a name and type id name and type that's it and obviously there will be another column which is which will have a relationship with the post okay that will create one to many one to many technology post okay that is correct and event dot post type Let's say post type, and here the column will be post type will be user post post type. Let me figure out the name here user post type, something like that. And post type we need to define here in the, the post entity. That will point to the post type, not technology. So the entity name we will change it to uh, the post type. Okay, coming back to the post entity here, uh, it will be post type and the column which we are pointing out is the user post type. So we are targeting user post type. Okay, so it's like another relationship we have created now. Coming back to our ERD. In ERD, we have covered these set of tables. Okay, the technology, post type, bookmarks we will add later. Uh, we have added a user and we have added a post. Right now, we have the, the three different foreign keys post type ID, technology ID, and the. Let me just zoom it so you can see a little better. So, this is the relationship we have already defined the post technology ID, uh, the owner ID. Owner ID is like user ID. We are calling that as a user ID, it can be author ID, user ID, owner ID, whatever you call it, it's same. Right? Post type, medium, YouTube, uh, Udemy, plural site course link, or your own video tutorial link, something like that, right? That is post type. And uh, these are the different columns of post. Now, the next thing we have is we can also run npm run build and npm run 
think this is what we can do npm run build it will run the build and npm run db sync later these two things we are we, we will do it and it will synchronize the database it will add the new column in our database i mean new entity the post type now coming back to our apis now we have to look uh, look at our requirement what we need technologies we need so we actually expose the technology apis now what other things we need is uh, creating the post so obviously the post entities will be creating like post controller and post service there you will be first of all you need to have the user populated somewhere in our system so user can actually if because we are going to use the token the which firebase provides and that token will give us the auth id the user id and that with the help of that user id we will persist the user auth id in the user id user table and user will be creating the new post so we will be populating the information in the user table whenever user is creating the post where user is already logged in we will decode the token get all this information and user will create the post we already have a technology id because technology has been created user has been created so user id technology id and the and the post type post type we already have created the table okay so i will stop here this is the phase one of our development now in phase two we will add more repository services and the apis and then we'll go from there okay uh, thanks everyone